And we're continuing our coverage of 2015 Gen Con. Uh, right now we're going to look at Firefly Shiny Dice. Now this is a game designed by Scott. Some of you may know him as Talks from Crits Happen. Uh, Scott couldn't be here, he's very busy, uh, but a big shout out to him. Uh, so Ryan, you will yes. be uh, describing uh, Shiny Dice for us. How, how are you enjoying your con so far? I'm, I'm loving the con. I got to play Shiny Dice. I've demoed a lot of people, and everyone's coming up. They love my Malcolm Reynolds, so yeah, it's that, lots of that, fun. That's exactly what I say. Dressed as Malcolm Reynolds. Very, yeah. very cool. So if you could give us a quick uh, overview of the game, that would be great. Oh, sure thing. Uh, what we got here is a quick out-of-the-box game. I like to dub these coffee shop games. They're real easy to play. So if you're not familiar with gaming, anyone can learn this within about five to ten minutes. It's a push-your-luck game. You start with 10 dice against five. You have your crew members of Serenity right here against your foes, the three big bad guys of the series. So we've got Niska, who likes to kill people. <laughs> we've got Saffron, who doesn't kill people herself, but she does capture them for other people to kill. And then Badger, he's greedy. He likes to sit there and capture your supplies and all of that. So as you're going on, just like the show says, um, you're going to get your crew, you're going to get a mission, and you're going to keep on flying. And so that's what we want to do throughout the whole thing. You'll earn points as you progress through your turn. So as I mentioned, you start with 10 crew dice against five. As you go through and you defeat your foes, you'll start KOing some of your dice. So your next turn, you might only have eight dice right. against five. Right, you so, start losing dice, okay. Yeah, so as you can see, it's going to be more and more difficult to go on. But the potential rewards, you can start getting, say, 300 points, 200 points. You get a better chance at the rewards. And just like any um, press your luck, you go on until you can't keep flying. If you decide you don't want to keep on flying, you lay low, you save your points until the next round, and then those are safe. After, say, about three rounds, you go ahead and tally up all your points, and then whoever has the most points wins. We have a couple of different missions. Of course, anyone that's a fan of the show knows that Shiny is really good. You're gonna get some good bonuses from this. It's gonna help you defeat your foes. And all you have to do to complete it is spot a couple of this. So right here, Walsh and Zoe, they get you some extra damage. Right. In case you have to cut out a dodge and you can't defeat your foes, you wanna keep your points, Escape's gonna get that to you. All you have to do is complete that and you have the option. Okay. And then of course we get into the bad stuff because as we know, you can't have good heroes without <laughs> bad stuff. Of course. You need a bit of conflict there, right? <laughs> yeah. So Bushwhacked, and this is, of course, everything's themed for the show. The fans are going to love the, uh, the flavor text. They're going to love the comments that we have. Bushwhacked means you've been stopped, you've been captured, you potentially lose uh, all your points on that. Right here, if you had four supplies, you'd get out of it by the uh, skin of your teeth. But that basically means at the end of your fight, you have to lay low and start hiding from people. Okay. Sabotage, this one's really really bad because you might have a really good die roll and you're going to be able to defeat your foes really easily but if you don't uh, complete the mission you have to re-roll all your dice oh, wow. which means okay. you could potentially have a far worse hand and not be able to complete your turn and then of course Gorum for people that like to swear in Chinese <laughs> we've got uh, we've got one where you complete your mission you get a really great bonus so you're going to get a couple of extra hundred points you're going to get some extra supplies and it's going to really help you uh, get ahead of your opponents but you don't have the option but to continue on. Okay. So if you end up with two fewer dice and you have to continue on, then you lose all those points the next round because you can't defeat the right, foes. Right. Okay, cool. um, and those are the different cards. We have uh, 100 cards in the box. You've got two play mats. We've got five shields, which one, they hide the all play, of The play mats come in the box the as two, well? Yeah, two That's play mats really come cool. in the box. The, the shields, actually, they have the quick uh, just reference guide in case you have to check right. on that. And they also hide all of your points from your opponents. We recommend playing one to five people. It is a solo play game that you can play oh, by yourself. Oh, very cool. Okay. It helps you practice. Um, five people, once they know how to play it, 30-minute game. Like I said, this is your coffee shop game. You're hanging out with friends, real easy to learn, and you just get done with the game. And if you have 500 friends, you can do the one game and just pass the dice around. It just takes forever to get around 500 people. Of course, so, but, <laughs> but if you really like the game, there you go. You can play more. Hey, thanks a lot, Ryan. No That's problem. a really quick explanation of the game. Uh, we are going to be reviewing this game, so do keep an eye out. Uh, and you know what? Enjoy the rest of the con. You, you enjoy it as well. Thanks Thank a lot. Thank you.